Well, good morning. As we study Jonah chapter 1, it becomes very clear that in our sin, our mind becomes very dark and disillusioned. We don't think clearly about ourselves, about others, and we certainly don't think clearly about God. Jonah, in his disobedience to the Lord's call to go to Nineveh, decided to go in the complete opposite direction, far across the Mediterranean Sea to a place called Tarshish. In his flight to Tarshish, the Bible tells us that he was going there to flee from the presence of the Lord. Jonah's thinking had become clouded. In his selfishness, disgust, and anger, he actually thought that he could flee from the presence of the Lord. Well, the truth is, God is everywhere. In Jeremiah 23, we read, Am I a God at hand, declares the Lord, and not a God far away? Can a man hide himself in secret places so that I cannot see him, declares the Lord? Do I not fill heaven and earth, declares the Lord? There isn't a place that you and I could go to hide from God's presence. Jonah might have thought he could flee, but thankfully, for his sake, and for all those who call upon the name of the Lord, the Father graciously pursues after those whom he loves. The Father will go to any extent to draw us back to himself, even by the means of a fierce storm. What made it motivates God to do this? Why does he graciously pursue after his children? Why, when we rebel, does God bring correction to our lives? The answer is his love. We read in Hebrews 12, the Lord disciplines the one whom he loves, and he chastens everyone he accepts as his son. We also read that God disciplines us for our good in order that we may share in his holiness. God desires for his children, those who have placed their faith in Jesus Christ, to share in his holiness. He desires for us to be conformed to the image of his son. That is, he desires to mold and shape us to be more and more like Jesus. And through the example of a rebellious Jonah, May we be reminded that, yes, God takes sin seriously, but he is also a God who graciously pursues those whom he loves. He desires for us to repent of our sin and to turn back to him. Join me in prayer this morning. Sovereign Lord, we thank you for your gracious pursuit of sinners. Lord, forgive us for the times that we in sin have attempted to flee from your presence. Help us to forsake all else, turn from our idols, and continually turn our hearts toward you. Father, we praise you for your love, for your grace, and your mercy found in and through the only Savior, Jesus Christ. In his name we pray. Amen.